Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing some of the very important question which they will be asking in any software testing interview. That is, how did the QA team misses this defect? This is very common questions which normally asked by any stakeholders, customers or senior management. Why this defect has been missed from QA team? So what are the various reasons a particular defect can miss from QA team? So I will be discussing various reasons in this video. Why we really as a QA team we miss the defect? The first one is incomplete test coverage. Incomplete test coverage could be the scenario gaps, whatever the requirements we have based on that, whatever the test cases we have written, we may not have coverage for a particular scenario or a user workflow. That is also a gap could be there from QA side. And integration points, we might not have tested uh, as part of our uh, regular testing practices such as we are overlooking some of the integration points or interfaces to the external systems that can lead to missing of the defect. And the second one is ambiguous requirement. If there is a lack of clarity in the requirement or unclear requirements, that is also a possibility that we may misunderstood some of the expected behavior. Even because of that, we may lead to missing of the some of the defects here. And the second one is time constraints as well, because we all the time we run against the timeline uh, with the tight schedule then uh, obviously we will be prioritizing uh, certain uh, areas for testing but we may neglect some of the other parts of the application to include as part of our testing even that situation we may face this kind of missing of defects and the uh, next one is regression testing challenges also could reason for missing our defect because we have a limited regression testing because with the given timeline we are running and we may not be able to execute every piece and part of our regression testing. Uh, we may anticipate some of the some of the defects can also slip through because of uh, limited regression testing. The next one is automation gaps also could be a reason uh, why we miss certain defects. If automation coverage is not comprehensive and certain scenarios we may not be able to automate if you are doing just manually, even the chances of increasing the missing defects becomes very high if uh, automation gaps are there. The next one is environmental issues also leads to missing of certain defects. The environment uh, issues such as uh, there is a discrepancy between uh, the testing environment versus uh, production environment which uh, customer is using. Even that situation, uh, we may get into a challenges of missing out defects. Hence, it is always good to advise. We will try to mimic or we will try to replicate the production environment that would uh, solve this uh, environmental issues. And the next one is communication breakdown. If there is a no proper communication between uh, development team and uh, QA team, even that leads to a lot of misunderstanding or missing updates uh, from the development team regarding the changes in the application, even that situation also we may anticipate of the missing of the defects. And there could also be reason of skill gaps uh, which is available with the testing team. It may happen that inexperienced or under trained QA team members uh, may not have may not identify certain types of defects uh, or may struggle to execute uh, the complex test scenarios. Even that situation we may anticipate uh, certain defects might get missed uh, while as part of our testing. And the next one is if you do not have a right testing strategy, if you have a very weak testing strategy, even that situation also leads to some of the rooms for uh, missing of the defects because the test strategy is should be very robust in nature and it should be able to cover every critical application. And the next one is defect severity perceptions. What happens here is uh, whenever we are raising the certain defects, we are always required to choose particular severity of the defects. Sometime there could be a misjudgment of the defect severity by the QA team. They might have prioritized some other defects uh, or these defects. Uh, 
on the perceived severity potentially overlooking the critical issues as well even this kind of situation also we may see defects got missed sometimes defects we might have logged but that was not fixed because of the right severity we are not logged with that and the next one is dynamic development environment this is very crucial especially whenever you are working with the agile or past development uh, environment the frequent uh, changes to the code will happen because of this broken because of this frequent changes uh, in the code that may introduce new defects that are challenging to catch in a short testing cycle is also a reason uh, where uh, testing team could have missed the defects and the next one is lack of user perspectives also a one reason uh, where uh, where end user where uh, our tester is not able to view the application from end user perspective if if our tester is not able to um, understand the user perspective then definitely there are chances that uh, some of the user experience defects or usability defects we might miss uh, as part of uh, the testing and the next one is post release defects also creates lot of challenges especially defects introduced post testing changes made after the completion of testing but before releases any new defects got introduced and those defects we normally we may not get a chance to test it even the that kind of defects also move on to the production environment that is also could be the reason we may miss the defect and the next one is insufficient uh, test data also could be the reason uh, of missing of the defects if uh, test data used during testing does not represent the real world scenarios defects related to data dependencies may go unnoticed the ends it is always try to replicate our data is more mimic to the production environment these are the certain things you should keep in mind whenever we wanted to do a root cause analysis of a particular defect why it got missed we have to try to mitigate or fix this gas whatever we have based on that in future this kind of uh, defects uh, definitely we can catch early in the game so that uh, we can keep our customer very happy if we follow all these uh, checklists so that uh, if you plan right things right strategy right planning definitely we can avoid these challenges uh, in near future i hope you guys got a clear idea if you guys really like this video please click on like button if you guys are not subscribed do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care